Do you need a personal locator beacon? A PLB or personal locator beacon is one of the ultimate save my booty in the wilderness tools you can possibly carry. In this video, I'm gonna discuss the PLB, how it relates to the Garmin sort of devices, why you might wanna consider one, and some places where you're required to have a PLB. So when my buddy and I we're skiing across Antarctica or Greenland featuring a book, Two Friends and a Polar Bear. We had to carry what's called a personal locator beacon. This personal locator beacon is totally different than the Iridium GPS featured in the InReach Explorer. This thing's like totally awesome. You could text message both ways, but the PLB is a I'm going to die, we're going to die, this is disaster one, not I'm cold and I'm hungry, but like fell down, broke a leg, uh, swept away, boat capsized, going to die. The PLB is the ultimate answer. Now, you can actually order them on Amazon. I've got a link below. And this device, I'm going to cover it here, but you actually have to register it with the NOAA or National Atmospheric something or other, I can't remember, whatever NOAA stands for. And every two years, you have to re-register this. So when I purchase this six months before my expedition, in 2025, I'm going to have to re-up the registration again. Now, this PLB comes with a pretty slick box. I'll show you how this all works. And it's pretty simple. Simple as flip it open, press a button, and the military shows up. And I'm not kidding. I have heard of people accidentally activating their POB when they weren't careful. They flipped out the antenna, flipped around, somehow turned it on. And then all of a sudden, sometime later, a military helicopter comes up and, okay, what's the problem? Like, oh, not good. So you do have to be very careful with the POB because once you press that button and the signal goes out at 406 megahertz, the military will show up. This device here also has an SOS right here. Press there and voila, help will show up. But the PLB is different in that it's on a 406 megahertz signal, which works pretty much all throughout the world as far as I know. And most countries are registered to this. Now, if you're going to places like Greenland and other countries, you have to register the POB in their country if they require a radio permit or anything else. The Iridium network uses a satellite network. This also picks up the GPS signal. Once you simply flip this piece of metal out, flip it around, press it on, it will send a signal, it will show your GPS coordinates, and it will tell you, tell you the 406 signal is sent. Now this is a very, very lightweight device and let me flip it around here. I'll show you just how light this is. It's pretty incredible. But do note that the battery does expire. It does not have a user replaceable battery, which really stinks, but that's just the way it is because this unit is floatable. It's not indestructible, but it actually comes with a armband. So if you're sailing or something, you can actually tie this thing to your armband or to your arm lash it on there so if you literally fall off your boat and you've got this hanging out around your neck and you're literally going to die you can flip this open press this and hopefully somebody will come and save your bacon so let me show you how much this weighs super light 150 grams or a mere 5.3 ounces to save you now again like i said you have to register this. This is the National Ocean <laughs> Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Whatever country you purchase this in, you have to register it. They have a form. You can actually go online and fill out this form. And this is very important. You have to do this every two years. And they warn you, please use the utmost care at time. If you press this button, if I literally press this button and it got a signal, the like Air Force or uh, whoever the heck is the official area where I live would literally show up banging on my door. It would not be a good situation. It has happened, but you gotta be careful about it. So really it's quite a simple device. It does have a test button on here, has a couple other features, but uh, in my basement it wouldn't work. 
but if I stepped outside and fired it off test button, it would go up, there'd be a message, testing okay, or testing a problem, and that's simply it. So a POB is very simple compared to a Garmin or a Spot. Now a Spot also uses the Iridium network like the Garmin, and you notice I don't own a Spot. Once you have the Garmin Explorer Plus, a Spot's like irrelevant. You can mess with your phone or you can have a high power tool. But the PLB is a worldwide save my bacon tool that pretty much works around the world. Sailors, adventurers, people use them. But this is a press because I'm going to die tool. Um, yeah, PLB. Check it out. Links below. It's got a pretty slick info. This is much more intimidating to use in the Garmin than anything else because I keep this in a Ziploc, keep it lashed around so there's no way the antenna can flip out and I can press that button because I don't want the military showing up in the middle of the forest when I'm enjoying my camping and I accidentally called in the military. So something to be checking out. Highly recommend if you're going to the absolute boonies and you're going to another country, get a radio permit and you will be confident. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And please ask questions so I can hopefully answer them to you and other viewers.